Okay. Yeah, we are live. Live. Hey, I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> yes, you are live, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you to be here. So we have some minutes. Um, we are some minutes late, but uh, ready to talk with you about this amazing subject about elegance of being and living. And uh, what is that, Paul? What is this kind of uh, invitation we can share with people? What is this elegance of living and being? What is for you? I love that question. Um, I think elegance. So one of the uh, the things that Gary was saying before was getting the, the maximum return with the minimum amount of effort so that you're there's, there's a beauty in elegance where things are done elegantly, people think things are done simply, and it delivers the desired effect. So a sense of peace, a sense of calm, and it's it's delivering that in, an, in a manner that has a lot of ease. Because I, I often see with Gary and Dane, they're dealing with a lot of different things and a lot of different questions coming in a whole lot, but they, they manage it very, very elegantly. Um, and it's like it's being able to handle everything in your life with a sense of ease and a sense of space so that there's a sense of space there, because when we get nervous or we panic, we contract. And when we contract, everything becomes solid and it's actually expanding out because you, you meet people who are very spacious. They don't get stressed out. They're just like, OK, cool. This is what's happening. Here's what we're going to do and what action is required and what space can I be? Yes, and when you spoke about that, I have this uh, these things too about this elegance is truly include your body. When you speak about this space and it's how you can be present with your body and relax and truly be in questions and also invite this um, elegance just of the being here and also how you can handle and uh, say things without anger, without reaction but truly with this kindness and uh, look at possibilities. Yes, yeah, exactly. Um, and, and sometimes anger is required. Like sometimes anger is like a lot of the time we make like extreme emotions wrong. And sometimes that's what's required to, to make the change. But you can do it elegantly where you deliver it and it's like you you move on. It's like it's like children will get angry or they'll get sad or they'll get happy. And it's just like, they just move through it. And a lot of the time as adults, we make certain things right and certain things wrong. So we're working from polarities rather than be willing to be the full spectrum and be every part of it and every part of, of your being. And um, to do it elegantly and to do it beautifully, like the French probably do it <laughs> that anyone in the world, I would say. I was in the south of France this summer and I enjoyed it so much. It was so beautiful. There's such an elegance, there's such um, a, a joy, the V, but there's also, um, there's an abundance in it. Like it's kind of like within elegance, there's an abundance that anything is possible, anything can happen. And it's like, okay, what's required here? So we know what's, what's required and it's allowing that that beauty, that joy, that happiness to uh, to appear. And also the castle, Casal Borgon in Italy, it's a beautiful example about this elegance and uh, this experience to, to be in this elegance and living in this elegance. So you are since a few months here. Uh, could you share with us uh, what it, how is this experience to be in this place and what this place contributes to you? Yeah, it's quite it's quite incredible. Like the castle can be quite intense. It's like, um, but there there's there's a spaciousness with it. Like it, it's it's very um, it's very available to people. I would say, and it's a, it's a strong energy, but it's a very nurturing, kind energy. Um, I often describe the castle like a, a demanding lover. So like it will give you all the love, all the kindness, all the joy in the world. But if you're doing something that it doesn't like, it will beat you over the head. So it's, <laughs> it kind of puts you, puts you into question on a lot of things. Um, and the elegance of the castle is the space that it is. 
because it, it allows people just to be themselves. And I've seen people transform, like come and stay at the castle for a few days and it transforms their whole life, but it also transforms their, their life for their future. So six months later, 12 months later, 18 months later, the, the gift that the castle is keeps growing. And um, what I've noticed with the castle is that the, the silence of the castle is deepening, which I didn't, I never actually considered that concept that like, I always thought silence was silence, but it's actually becoming deeper and deeper and deeper. And as you delve into that, that that's, that's what actually pulls people to the castle. It's that sense of silence, that sense of beauty, that sense of joy. Yes, and I can share my experience too. Uh, I came a few times in the castle and I truly enjoy um, this silence about what you talk uh, and also the beauty. It's like to be just in this area where everything is beautiful. You, you can perceive um, any object uh, I've been... Um, uh, really cho chosen mm. and uh, and you have this kind of interaction with the beauty I I don't really experience in another place because I make I made me present when yeah. you made your present of the beauty you can begin to receive the gift of every object every chair every um, uh, uh, chandelier yes yes chandelier yeah see, see, see. and every knife and fork yeah yeah, so for people also ask a question about elegance. Elegance, it's also about receiving. Allow you to receive the beauty around you and be present of, with it. And I would say also interact. Uh, have this interaction with, um, with things to be able to receive. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, so, and it, yeah. It, it, it's... It's in a very spacious manner. So what happens is people start feeling very at home at the castle. And it's kind of like people come in and for the first half an hour, they're kind of like, wow, it's so beautiful. It's so incredible. But then they start to relax and relax and relax. And they're like, wow, I can actually receive this. And this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And there's so many details in the castle. The castle is a real place of details. There's lots and lots and lots of details. So you have to be aware of what's possible and looking at where you go from there and what's what's possible to create so um it is it's a spaciousness that that creates the elegance but also it's shown me the more spacious you can be in any situation like we've had lots of situations to deal with this year lots of changing situations but when you can be a space the elegance is there because you're not working from a contracted place you're not wor working from thoughts feelings and emotions it's like okay what's required now okay how do we handle this what's required here and you can handle a lot of things very simul simultaneously because you have lots of things coming in but it's just like yes no yes no yes no yes no and it's what's what's truly possible but to do it in a very elegant manner yes and uh, about what you said and this concept of receiving people sometimes said yes a castle is not for me or i'm not um, i'm not able to go in this kind of place or i don't will be in my place or etc mm -hmm. so we can have all this um, justification why mm -hmm. we don't uh, allow us to receive this beauty and also uh, the gift of uh, a place like that so beautiful yeah. and with beautiful object and with mm -hmm. this uh, wealth we have yeah. the sense of wealth. So how many people make distance um, with wealth where it's more about receive a space rather than to having something? Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's also, ultimately, it's receiving you. It's allowing you to receive the gift that you be. Because when you recognize that you're beautiful, that you're joyful, that you're peaceful, that your natural being is all of these things and more, everything becomes a hell of a lot easier. Yes. And uh, when we don't think about how we can receive things and just um, low our barriers and uh, be present about the beauty 
the magic happened and it's what's happened in the castle you don't have to do anything you just be here and uh, and enjoy um, this uh, this beautiful energy just uh, you interact with so what would it take for people to uh, allow them to lower them ba their barriers and uh, truly um, um, be in this uh, way to how I can say to receive this beautiful energy every everywhere around them. It could be in the castle, but also in the in the nature. We can speak about the nature and the elegance of nature too. It's just this freezing, beautiful, and uh, and magic energy we can uh, be present and receive from. Yeah, totally. And I was out for a walk the other day, and there was just so many beautiful trees. So. It's a lovely area here and all the trees were starting to change color and you see the beauty of nature. Like nature is just incredibly elegant. Like everything is happening and nothing is happening. So you have this um, situation where everything is opening up, everything is being, is being done and it's happening in an elegant, beautiful manner, but everything has its place and everything is is flowing like it's just flowing along it's like okay i can't go here so i'll go here i'll change this i'll change it but it just it's flowing it's so so beautiful yeah yes and uh, i i i know you would like to talk about your beautiful horse also yes uh, i this week i'm bringing him to castle Vergoni, and he, he showed me so much about elegance and presence because he's He's very present and he he demands that you be present with him. Like if if you're not present with him, he starts like nodding, banging his head up against you. And it's like what he's actually saying is be present with me, be present with me, receive the gift that I'm offering you. And like he's such a bundle of kindness and joy. But like he's also saying, hey, be present with me. Hey, be present with me. Be here with me. Be here with me. And it's like nature is often reminding us of that as well. Because so often we get lost in our thoughts, feelings and emotions. And it's like, oh, my God, this person said this to me. Or, oh, my God, this thing happened. But it's like, what if we're just totally present with ourselves? Yes. And what inspiration we can uh take in uh, everything around us so you t talk about your us we can we talk about also with nature with the castle so we can ask people what can be an inspiration for you around you to tap in this energy and begin to invite this elegance of being and living in your life and what would it be for you uh this kind of elegance because yeah. there is no definition yes exactly yeah Un undefined and then also what would it take to elegantly expand your life beyond your wildest dreams? So what if our life is this big and we want it to be this big and it can be this, this big, this big, and we actually allow our life to elegantly expand because then we're utilizing the need and tug of the universe and we're allowing the universe to contribute. So the actualization of the possibilities is up to the universe. All we have to do is ask, and receive and then stay in the question okay what's required now what's required now what's required now and then we just receive see what shows up oh wow that was really cool okay that wasn't so cool uh choose again so every 10 seconds we have choice so for people look at us and uh, to the replay of this video what question could you ask to bring more elegance of your in your life and um, in the, the unexpected way, uh, you can receive it. So thank you so much, um, Paul, for this conversation and your sharing and invitation. And uh, for people who want more information about the castle, where they yeah. can find, find that. Yeah, so if they go to castlebergone.com, so C A S A L B O R G O N E.com. And we have lots of information, lots of events. And um, yeah, there's always things going on at the castle. So what else is truly possible? Yes, and I, saw, I know there is uh, many events also organized in the castle. Could be classes or could be also other events. Do you have some event upcoming you want to share with us? 
Yeah, we have the a beautiful class in December. It is with Carletta Tiba, who Marie Sandrine knows very, very well. Um, she's a brilliant, brilliant body uh, facilitator, and she's doing a three-day body class on the tenth, at the eleventh till the thirteenth of December. It's a beautiful time of year, just before Christmas. And if you want to nurture and care for your body, so it'll be at the castle and. Um, There'll be more information on accessconsciousness.com under the three-day body classes. Okay, and I hear also about Maestro, I think. Yes, so there's a, a private gathering for Maestro. So um, we're going to be doing Maestro from the castle, which is going to be awesome. I'm very, very excited. The energy, I think the class started around two days ago because there's a, a lot of stuff coming up for people. So how does it get any better than that? So uh, yeah, we're looking to see what else is truly possible. Yeah. Yes, I have the, I had the pleasure to, to attend the cl classes here and also facilitate a class this class I facilitate a true lady. And yeah. uh, yes, uh, for people also, women and gentlemen are interesting uh, to uh, explore this elegance of being and living and truly begin to a bit beyond this kind of rule of this reality to be a man or a woman. I truly enjoy um, to share all this conversation and tools during this class, also a true lady. So I will have a class um, in Paris when we speak about elegance. I oh, think this, fantastic. this, this, uh, this town is very uh, inviting for it. And uh, yes, so what will it take for people to choose more of this elegance uh, in their life? And uh, yes, what they can create uh, beyond they had imagined before. So thank you so, so much, Paul. C'est mon euh... plaisir. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Merci beaucoup. infiniment. Yeah. And uh, see you very soon. Thank you for people who was live and uh, for people look at the replay. Thank you. Et, et bientôt. Grazie. Ciao, ciao. Merci. <laughs>